Emily Grierson and Homer Barron are the two central characters in William Faulkner's gothic tale, A Rose for Emily. Miss Emily Grierson was born during the Civil War. Raised by her very strict father, she ignored the cultural and social progress exhibited by the New South, preferring instead to uphold the customs and standards of the pre-Civil War South. She continued the Grierson tradition of believing her social standing was more significant than it really was, and believing her father's insistence that no one was good enough for his daughter, she remained unmarried into her 30s. Miss Emily allowed herself to be courted by Homer Barron, a man well below her class and a northerner or Yankee to boot, because upholding Victorian standards for women, namely becoming a wife, was extremely important to Miss Emily Grierson and to the community at large. Her suitor, Homer, unfortunately wasn't a marrying man, so Miss Emily secretly killed him poisoning him with arsenic and keeping his body in a bridal suite that doubled as a tomb. After Homer's disappearance, Miss Emily became a recluse. The town didn't discover her secret until after her own death, nearly 40 years later. Homer Barron was a big, brash man with a loud laugh, making him an unusual romantic partner for the cold and aloof Miss Emily Grierson. He took Miss Emily on weekly carriage rides after his arrival in Jefferson, but had no intention of marrying her or any other woman. At one point, Miss Emily's cousins, strict upholders of Southern class traditions, arrive and try to keep her away from her suitor. But Homer wasn't the marrying kind. The text suggests that he was homosexual. A little more than a year after his arrival in Jefferson, he went into Miss Emily's home and was never seen again. Miss Emily Grierson had poisoned him and kept his body in her bed. In that way, Homer was never able to leave her.